use it. And so let's talk about an application that you can use with extroversion introversion. I'm gonna give you two images, an extroverted image and an introverted image to help you kind of conceptualize what these uh, things, extroversion, introversion, are all about and how you can use them. We'll start off with the extroverts. Here's the extroverted image. The extroverted image is the brain dumper. Brain dumper. Extroverts are brain dumpers. Now, what that looks like is this. So I go to Christine's office, and I'm an extrovert. What may very well happen in this exchange is, I walk in and go, uh, hey, Christine, you know that project we're working on? I was thinking we could do this and this, and I want to do this, and I don't like this other, but I was thinking the blah, 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 blah. It's as if I've come into your office, and I've bent over, taken the top of my head off, and I'm dumping the contents out on the rug. Now, what a brain dump looks like. Is there stuff in there that's repeated? So I'll say it, I'll say it again. There's stuff in there that's contradictory, perhaps. So I say X, and then I'll say Y. There's stuff in there that I don't even think, feel, or believe. But there it is. And so, now the whammy, we put on extroverts, and there are two of them in our world. The whammy we put on extroverts is that one, as soon as we know that we're the recipient of this brain dump, we try and stop it. And so, what that looks like is this. Now, Christine, the extrovert, comes to my office. Uh, so, Christine is the extrovert, and she comes in and says, Hey, hi, you know that thing we were working on? I was thinking we could do this and this, and I don't know about this. And so, there she is. As soon as I realize that she's brain dumping on my floor, that the one I'll say, I'll say, oh, hey, wait, stop. What's the point? Bottom line it for me. Cut to the chase. Need to know. Uh, now, the struggle is that oftentimes the extrovert doesn't know. The extrovert doesn't know what she or he is there to say until they hear themselves say it. They speak to think. They engage their mouth to engage their brain. The process is external. And so, my saying, hey, cut to the chase, really can kind of stop that short. Now, if I really want to shut her down, what I can say is, hey, Christine, you know, that sounds fascinating. Could you put it in writing for me? <laughs> because the answer is no. Uh, that she can put something in writing, and she might write very well, but what you would go write, Christine, is not what you would have just said, and it's lost. If the extrovert wants to bring what he, she has to the party, they need to be able to have it out here in the outer world. Share it, talk about it, engage with it externally. Now, another whammy we put on extroverts, remember there are two, is that we hold extroverts accountable for everything we hear them say. And so, this, is a, this can be a major problem, and there's not an extrovert in this room who has not paid the price for that at one time or another. Uh, a client that I was uh, consulting with many years ago was an extrovert. He had five people that worked for him in this uh, little retail shop, all of them introverts. So extrovert with five introverted employees. Now, he would walk around extroverting all day long. Now, what that looked like and sounded like at any given day might be this. Hey, did anybody see CNN last night? It was fascinating. They had the story and this happened and this happened and this happened. And this happened. Wow, that was a whack job customer that just left. Can you believe it? Wow, what a freak. The moon must be full. Hey, well, I'm going to be in my uh, office if anybody needs me. You see, I'm working on this project. See, what I'm doing is blah, 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 blah. And, and now his introverted staff would generally not respond in any way that he could tell. Uh, and that was, uh, and so he would just then fill up the silence with more stuff and it kind of compounded the problem. They'd walk behind him, looking at him as if he was leading up to a therefore do this kind of a summary. <laughs> One that never came. And so, th so they had this e EI confusion between the two of them. Well, one day in his uh, extroversion, he said, you know, we should take Friday off. Lord knows we deserve it as hard as we've worked. Anyway, whoop, and on he went. Now, Friday came, and you guessed it, three of his five people didn't show up. Now, they didn't do that to manipulate the system. They heard him say, we should take Friday off, we deserve it. And they did not know how to hear his brain dump. And he, as an extrovert, didn't know how to frame it such that they could, and so they collaborated in some organizational dysfunction around extroversion, introversion right there. And so the, the thing to do, knowing about extroversion, is if, if you are an extrovert, you need to brain dump. That's an active part of your processing, of the, how your brain works. And so you need to actually claim some space for that. So actually say it. 
I need to brain dump. Christine comes in. Now I, I remember this training, so, so I, now I know what to do. I don't stop it. I don't hold you accountable. I just stand back, hike up my britches, and go. You know, you know p- pile it up. You know, now once it's out, once she's finished, I might have to prod her with some uh-huhs. Hmm, oh, that's fascinating. Whatever. Once it's out, then I can say, now, Christine, of this, what am I accountable for? What am I accountable? What are we going to do? And she can go over to the pile and say, okay, we're going to do this. I like this. Maybe this other. The rest of that they can sweep up tonight. But here's what we are going to go forward with. That is the brain dump. Extroverts, you need to make sure the world is allowing your extroversion and your brain dumping and that it, because the world won't necessarily do that for you. So you have to make that known. Now, though that's true, and that can be a heavy burden for some extroverts, realize that a majority of our culture is still extroverted. Let's talk about the introverts. So here's the introverted image. The introverted image. There's a hermit who lives in a cave up in the mountains. And every once in a while, the townspeople from down below will bring the hermit a new crate of supplies. And what the hermit will do is run outside the cave, grab the crate, and drag it back inside. And, and only once he's back inside the safety of the cave will they go through the crate and go, huh, wonder what they brought me this time. Uh, that is how an introvert processes information. That what an introvert will do is, is go through the crate and figure out what is there, what that looks like in real life. Is Think about the last time you were in, in a training, in a meeting, even in a conversation with somebody. Now, if you're talking to an introvert, then what you may very well see is the introvert, uh, uh, well, you won't see it, but what will happen is the introvert will take some bit of information, a question, a data point, something, and, whoop, and pull it inside. Now, inside, they're doing, oh, wow, this is good. That reminds me of this other. Oh, that's good. I could use that. Well, that's, that's no good. But this, uh, but this other has some problems, blah, 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 cut, paste, move it over here, whatever. There's lots of action going on. Now, meanwhile, I don't see anything on the face here in the outer world because really what's important is what's going on in here anyway. Now, I, in the outer world, am only going to get the result of that. I like it. I don't. I need more data. Whatever. And I'm only going to get that 10 minutes from now or a week from now. Maybe never if I don't ask you the right question to retrieve it. But the thought is, is that there's lots going on behind the face of an introvert that the world doesn't see. Uh, and that is the nature of, of the hermit. Now, introverts realize are famous for coming up with the great insight, the witty retort, the zinging comeback a half an hour after the argument <laughs> when they're finally in their car on the way home. You're driving, and another thing, you know, the, uh, and it's worthless. But the thought is they, they just then had time to go in the crate and unpack it and figure out what's going on, what are we going to do? And so that's the struggle with introversion. And so the whammy we put on introverts in our system is that we spontaneously question them. We spontaneously question them. And so that means I go up to introverted Jan in the hallway and say, uh, so hey, what do you think about the training so far? And Jan, like, thump, 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 it, it comes up with something, says it, and it's as, uh, it's as insightful and intelligent as anyone else, but because I did not give that introvert time to go inside and process what's in the crate, that there will be some period of time, now that time could be moments to forever, somewhere in that range, uh, where the introvert is going, oh, why did I say that? I didn't even think that, and that was so stupid. I, I, why didn't I say this other? And this other that I should have said and forgot to, I, I didn't give them time to go in and process all of that. So my advice to introverts, and my preference is for introversion, my, prefer, uh, my advice to introverts is, if you are spontaneously questioned, the best response is, do you want an answer now or one that I'll support? If you want an answer now, I'll give you one. But if you want one I'll support, I need some time to unpack the crate. If you say that, they might cart you away in a crate. But, the, uh, but, the, but the, I, I need some, some time to think about it. Now, how much time, that depends on you, the question, the, the system. That could be five minutes in your workspace by yourself or overnight or whatever. That's a different issue. But the fact that you as an introvert need to know that that's a need of yours and create that space is on your shoulders to do that. The world is not, especially this extroverted world, is not waiting, clamoring to help you with that. Uh, but extroversion, introversion.
It can be obvious. And just remembering that the extroverts naturally brain dump and the introverts naturally process information like that Herman in a cave will help get you out of a lot of sticks and foibles along the road.